Gemini. This is your love reading for December. My name is Renee. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Gemini, let's get into it. A bunch of cards popped out. So we're going to go ahead and take all three of these. We have a miracle. Okay, so miracles may be coming your way this month. And we have workaholic. So yeah, I feel like you're working very hard. And we have protection. Perfection. Excuse me. Perfection. And at the bottom we have isolation. Okay, Gemini. So I, I feel like a lot of things are being available to you at the moment, Gemini. I feel like you're creating a lot because you're working so hard. I feel like you haven't really stopped working because you're striving for perfection. Now, because you're doing this, because you're so focused on work, you're so focused on creating something, I feel like it's pushing you into isolation. You want to be alone to get these things done or you want to be able to work. Um, but you need to look inside yourself, Gemini, to see what it is you really want. And to me, I see. Yeah, take a little soul searching because it can't always be about work. There has to be some play there too. And I feel like you really need to jump out of your comfort zone because work is still going to be there. Um, but you need to take some time to play as well. And body and soul. Okay, so yeah, Spirit is letting you know that you need to take time out for yourself to really take a a higher view to really focus on your body and soul to take a, a look inside to see what it is you really want because life isn't all about work it's really not um, now for some of you I feel like you're working very hard on your relationship because you feel like you want it to be perfect but that's not even that's not even rational. Nothing, no relationship is perfect. I've been married for 36 years and I promise you, nothing in a relationship is always perfect. You may have perfect moments. You may have a perfect day, but a relationship will never be perfect. So yeah, you need to Kind of realize that, Gemini. You have to take it as it comes. You have the Three of Cups and you have the Empress. So yeah, I feel like you really need to be surrounded by people right now. Um, you really need to get out and socialize. Because I feel like you're very attractive. You're very outgoing. You are the life of the party. Gemini. People look at you and they really want to be around you. They really want to hear your laughter, you know, hear your jokes. I feel like this is, in December, it's a very opportune moment for you to change your way of thinking about work and really socialize more get out go places you have the temperance okay. and you have the page of Pentacles yeah so I really feel like you're gonna find balance in some kind of communication Someone's going to give you an offer of something. Oh, we had a card that fell. The Page of Swords. Okay. 
Yeah, you, you're definitely going to receive an offer. You're definitely going to receive some kind of communication in this situation. Um, someone's going to try to pull you out of the house, Gemini. Now, I feel like this may be your social group. This may be your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your friends. But someone's pulling you out of the house. Someone's trying to get you to socialize more. And you have the Nine of Swords. Okay. And at the bottom you have the Five of Pentacles. So. So yeah, I feel like whatever... Whatever this is with this communication, I feel like it's pulling you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like you're very reluctant to come out of your comfort zone, but I feel like it's really a good choice. I feel like it's a really good choice to come out of your comfort zone and just socialize. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah, I feel like pulling up some more cards for you, Gemini, just to find a little bit more clarity in the situation. But I feel like this action that you're taking, I feel like it may be very helpful. It may be very helpful in your situation. Let's see. Let's get some outcome, outcome cards for Gemini. What is going to be the outcome in love for Gemini? What is going to be the outcome? The stars. This may be your miracle coming through, Gemini. See, you have the miracle card here at the top. And the star, the star represents miracles as well. It also represents renewal, hope, your new journey, being in the spotlight, grabbing onto your star. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, so I really feel like you're in the spotlight at the moment, Gemini. I feel like you are surrounding yourself with people, which is a good thing. You, you're getting out of your comfort zone, and you're moving towards better things. Now, I don't see a lot of love in this reading, Gemini, but I do see that you're ready for love. I do see that you're ready for love. I see that you're socializing. You're coming together. Now, you may receive a few offers. You may have a few people approach you for, you know, offers of love. But I don't see you really pursuing those at the moment. I feel like you're very reluctant to step out of your comfort zone. But... All in all, I do feel like you're socializing and you're you're meeting new people. So that's a great thing, Gemini. Okay. Let's get another card here. <clears throat> Let's get another card here for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini for December in love? Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so you might be fearful to jump into this at the moment. Maybe that's why you're working so hard, Gemini, because you're kind of fearful of what could be. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Okay, let's get one more. One more for Gemini and discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Well, I still feel like you're work focused. You're just work focused. 
all around Gemini, but I feel like at least you're socializing, at least you're getting out into the world. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah, I feel like you're so independent. I feel like you're kind of fearful to let someone else take the reins. But Gemini, you can't find happiness alone. I mean, you can be happy, but how happy is that situation if it's just a work situation, if you're just always in solitude? So I'm glad that you're getting out socializing, Gemini. But you, I, I've, I'm feeling like you should really be more open to the possibilities. Okay, if that reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And many blessings to you, Gemini. Love and light.